This is JBigTicket23 from GreenPCGamers.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to optimize a Precision T3600 workstation uh, for gaming or any other high-end computing. Um, so the first thing you want to do is go to GreenPCGamers.com and click on the blog page and search T3600. That's going to bring up uh, the second result which is make my precision t3600 into a gaming computer this blog page is going to tell you everything you need to know and more um, on, uh, on top of what we tell you in this video um, it'll it'll give you a bunch of part numbers and other ideas for upgrades uh, because we're going to install a gtx 1080 in this video maybe you don't have the budget for that um, so you can look at the other options that we've tested um, as, as well as um, solid state drives nvme drives uh, memory upgrades and uh, processor upgrades so definitely go here use this as a resource to upgrade or build the precision t3600 that meets your budget um, and everything is completely free all, all the content is free we just share it you know the, the information with you um, also um, if you like free giveaways uh, follow or like green pc gamers on facebook um, so enough of that let's get to our actual build um, so we have a precision t3600 workstation uh, we have a Xeon 6-core E5-1650 processor, which is 3.2 gigahertz 6-core CPU. Um, what we like about it is the max turbo frequency, which is 3.8 gigahertz. So, I mean, this isn't like the highest clock speed CPU, but it's going to do a really, really good job um, for what we're trying to do, and, and, and that's PC game. Uh, we have 16 gig of RAM installed, uh, four 4 gig modules. It's DDR3 1600 megahertz. Uh, we have a 256 gig solid state drive. That's going to be used as our boot device. Um, and here's one of our big upgrades. We have a 512 gig NVMe solid state drive uh, with an adapter. So that's an I.O. device you'll see later in the video. And then we have an EVGA NVIDIA GTX 1080 graphics card. Um, we, we swapped a, a Quadro graphics card for this card because this card's a monster for gaming. And like I said, if you don't have the budget to buy this particular card, Go to greenpcgamers.com. We show you a list of different cards based off your budget. Um, and then uh, something that's really important is that you'll want to make sure that you have a 635 watt power supply before you do this upgrade. Um, they have the option for a 425 and a 635. And like I said, 635 is where you want to be. Um, so um, let's go through a little bit more information on the T3600. Like again, we said the key upgrades, um, if you're gonna use greenpcgamers.com is high clock speed processor, at least 16 gig of RAM, a NVIDIA GeForce GPU, because um, they work a lot better than the NVIDIA Quadro cards that typically come in these systems. So definitely if you can swap um, these components out. And again, check out greenpcgamers.com for the upgrade ideas. So, uh, make sure again make sure you have a 635 watt power supply before you do any of these upgrades it's very important um, so here's our t3600 and our graphics card and our nvme drive that we're going to install so here's a quick look at the front of the t3600 if you don't already have one um, it's got one usb 3.0 port on the front um, here's our gtx 1080 um, there's our um, NVMe drive, and of course, in between, you saw our power adapter that we need to connect, uh, which we'll show you later in the video. Here's the back of the chassis. Again, you'll see our 635 watt power supply. And then you'll see our additional ports in the back. We have more USB, or one more USB 3.0 port if you're going to do uh, VR, um, as well as audio and some ancient PS2 ports. All right, so. Uh, first thing we're going to do is remove the side panel. It's really easy to do. No tools needed. In fact, you won't need any tools for this other than um, installing your NVMe drive into the adapter if you have to do that. Um, there's our solid state boot device. And the blue slot is where we're going to mount our or install our 1080. Here's a little look at the memory that's already installed. So we already had a good processor and memory already installed, so we're not installing those in this video. Um, but uh, we will do additional videos for those installs. All right, so here's our GTX 1080. And as you can see, it requires 8-pin power. This, this graphics card draws 180 watts. So that's why we have our 
eight pin. To, um, there's our eight pin that's going to plug into the graphics card, and then we have dual female six pins. Now the T3600, if you have the 635 watt power supply, has a dual six pin um, adapter already built into it. So all we have to do is connect our adapter to that adapter. So dual six pin to eight pin. And get those clipped in like you see. Once you do that, you just have to drop your graphics card in. Uh, first, we have to um, release the blue retention clips that actually lock the card in place. Once those are loosened, we need to put the card into the slot. Now, the card's really heavy, so really all you have to do is line the card up and then let it drop into place. Um, so... We only have one hand here, so we're just we just need to line the card up with the PCI slot as well as uh, where the retention clips are. Once it's lined up, it'll drop right into place like so. And then we just need to plug in our 8-pin power. If you don't plug in this power adapter, the system's going to halt and post. It's not going to actually boot up. So you do have to get uh, this power adapter if you don't already have it for your graphics card. Now, if you use a lower-end card, you might not need as much power. I might need one six pin. You might need none if you do like a 1050 Ti. So that's installed. Now we're going to do our NVMe. So if you're, if you're not familiar with NVMe, um, they're awesome, super fast uh, solid state drives that install in your I.O. slot, your PCI Express slot. Um, this particular workstation will not allow you to boot to the NVMe drive. That's why we already have that 256 gig solid state drive. Um, but what it does is it installs it in your I.O. slot and it works just like any other secondary hard drive. Um, the difference is it can be three to six times faster than a conventional SATA solid state drive, uh, depending on obviously the existing SATA drive. Um, so it's super fast. Um, it's really, really fast uh, or amazingly fast for opening up large programs, games, and files. Um, so it'll, it'll basically, it's going to change your life if you install one of these. Um, it uses, again, a PCIe slot instead of a conventional drive slot. So if you've already installed two or three drives into this T3600 and you need more storage, um, this is a good other option to boost I.O. speed and also to get additional storage. Um, so that's why we install it. Again, super fast. And that's pretty much it. It opens up games way faster than any other device. So here's our, uh, solid, or our NVMe drive. Again, it has to go into this I.O. slot. We post the um, NVMe drives that we've used as well as the adapters on Green PC Gamers. Um, so we're going to mount this in this bottom PCI Express slot just to give a little bit of space for this GTX card to breathe because it's got two big fans in there. Now we've done a separate video on how to install the NVMe drive into the adapter. So check out our other videos if you need help with that. So this card just drops right into place. It's super light, so you actually have to do put some pressure on it to install it. And uh, at this point, we need to put all of our blue retention clips back on to lock those PCI cards into place. All right, so basically now we just have to put our side panel back on and plug our system in. Now, we already had Windows 10 installed on that boot device, so we don't have to do that. Um, here's a look at the back of the chassis. We've got three display ports, one HDMI port and one DVI port. Um, and there's our NVMe slot. All right, so now we have Windows installed. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to Disk Manager or Disk Management. And we need to uh, assign our new NVMe drive um, a letter path. And uh, we're going to name it. So we basically go into Disk Management. Um, we're going to assign it E and we're going to name it uh, Super Fast Drive. Because this is where we want to put like any of our game libraries any of our large programs um, so they can open up really, really fast. Another benefit to that is if you do have, like your OS becomes uh, corrupt or you get a virus, all of your files are still intact on that NVMe. You just have to reload your uh, 256 gig solid state drive or whatever you use. All right, so that's working. We see it, uh, 476 gig free. All right, so next, because we installed an, uh, an upgraded graphics card, we have to go to NVIDIA.com. And we have to find our driver. So based off whatever graphics card you install, in our case, it's a 1080. So we select our operating system, which should default, and we'll go and find the 1080. You can use that auto-detect GPU option as well. Um, it works really, really well. It's just a little bit slower than if you could find it manually. 
So you basically find the latest driver, install it, and that'll optimize your graphics for, for your games that you're going to play. And then with the NVIDIA driver, there's something called the GeForce Experience. So you you can you have the option to install this. If you're going to game, I recommend using it because it'll optimize um, your games uh, based off of your system components and obviously your graphics card. So once you open it up, um, it'll find your games and it'll allow you to cl op click optimize. You can still modify them um, after that. So we did run a benchmark on this um, on this system. It was with a game called Tom Clancy's The Division. Um, it optimized the high slash ultra settings. It was a combination. And we did achieve 110, fr 110 frames per second with this card. So... Um, we can call this a 100 FPS system in 2018. It's, you know, it's a really good system, um, especially for a system that's like seven, eight years old now. Um, so if you have a T3600 already, um, or you can get one really cheap, you can absolutely make this uh, a more than decent gaming computer, um, you know, if you, if you get one. So definitely um, use greenpcgamers.com as a um, resource. Um, if this video was helpful to you, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Also, as we said before, if you like free giveaways, uh, go to the Green PC Gamers Facebook page and hit that like button. Thank you so much for watching.